Hey, Pete. I'm working on a college application, and it says I gotta tell them about myself. More like sell yourself. It's the worst. You got any advice? Well, take me. Hi, I'm Peter Parker. I'm 25 years old, I have a bachelor's degree in biophysics, and I'm in love with the greatest woman ever. <laughs> Humble brag. Who is the best journalist in this city. Word. Go, MJ. I try to live up to the example set by the other greatest woman ever, my Aunt May. Humble brag again. Damn. And a while back, I was bitten by a radioactive spider and got superpowers. I, I can't put that in my essay. Hey, I'm laying the track as I drive the train. <clears throat> I've used my powers to help the city and stop a lot of people who wanted to hurt it. Like my mentor, Dr. Otto Octavius. His lab got shut down by an old colleague, Norman Osborne. Otto retaliated by releasing a bioweapon. In the end, I managed to stop Otto. But not without great cost. That was pretty good. But I'm no Peter Parker. Exactly. You're Miles Morales. You're 17 years old and a student at Brooklyn Visions Academy. What else? I guess I <clears throat> help out with my mom's work in Harlem every now and then. She's Councilwoman Rio Morales. And there is a girl I like who's spectacular and inspiring and I think is one of the best artists in the city. And I also got bitten by a radioactive spider that gave me superpowers. I learned how to be a Spider-Man from the OG. But I learned how to be a hero from my dad. He was killed by Martin Lee in the City Hall bombing. The good I try to do every day is the good my dad planted in me. But it's been hard. Even with superpowers, sometimes we can't save the people we love, no matter how hard we try. A hero is someone who doesn't give up, though. And I don't plan to. I don't know, man. I can't talk about me without talking about Spider-Man. Sure you can. You just have to... Uh... Yeah, why don't you just start another draft? So this is our second time recording this. We already did this, but it recorded all in like a super low resolution and it didn't tell us it was doing that. So I'm hoping it doesn't do that again. So I've already enjoyed the first few hours of this game once, uh -huh. uh, but I think just the first 45 minutes we need to redo. Yeah, so the first 45 minutes we played and then we went and ate food um, and stopped the recording, and it's a good thing we did, I yeah, guess. Yeah, thank God we went and ate food. Because that entire recording was in a low resolution, and then the recording we did after that for the next few hours of the game was fine. It was completely fine. I don't get what happened, but that's okay. So we're gonna play the first 45 minutes of the game again, and then we're gonna go back in time, and you guys are gonna see us playing the game for the first time with those few hours? No, you know, what we're, you know what we're gonna do? The first 45 minutes, Jill is also gonna edit at some point, and that's going to go for channel members. Yay! So, then you'll get to see our alternate reality playthrough. Ready? Oh my. Are you good? Promise me something. Anything. If this doesn't work, take me out. It'll work. I don't have a lot of time left. I want a chance to say goodbye. I'm not going to lose you. I will never let you go. So do you think this is the symbiote talking, basically? I don't know. To Harry? I don't know. Because I think it might be. I guess it could be. I think the symbiote healing agent, like, bonded to him during that. Do you think the symbiote likes him? Well, yeah, the symbiote, the symbiotes love their host, usually. Aw, really? Usually. That's nice, because I love Harry. Makes me sad, though, in the Spider-Man comics, they actually showed that even though the symbiote tried to permanently bond with Peter Parker, it didn't see that as a bad thing. It saw him as its best friend, and when he took it off of it, 
because he saw it as a parasite, it really hurt it emotionally. Oh, it's actually that's pretty sad. sad. I'm here. Good morning, class. We have a new teacher joining us today. Hi. My name's Pete, my, my, Mr. Mr. Parker. Uh, and we are all very lucky today because this is physics class and physics is awesome. <coughs> Ever wonder how some insects and uh, birds and reptiles can just run right across a pond? Two words, surface tension. Bathroom. Okay. Okay. At this point, I asked you if you ever had a class where you could just get up and go to the bathroom. That surface tension. Or if you had to ask all, all the time. Hmm? And I remember you no, said you never had a class where you could just get up. I, I think yeah. I did have classes where I could, but I was always to too socially like... anxious to get up and not ask. That yeah. makes sense. Because I felt like I was doing something by, bad. By the length. In college, they just wanted you to get up and not disrupt the class. Can anybody did you see the uh, sand on the floor? I... I, I need your help. <laughs> uh, Mr. Morales, is it? Uh, are you sure this isn't something you can handle yourself? I'm sure. <laughs> okay, class. Uh, read chapter four or five or whatever. Miles, I need this job. If the principal comes back and sees I'm gone, I'm gonna get fired. I know, but you gotta see this. And at this point, I have made a joke that I sure hope Miles is 18 by now, because otherwise people are going to start asking some real suspicious questions Marco, about Peter. Today. I guess technically Peter is grooming him, but to fired. be Spider-Man, not to be something awful. Well, now he's grooming him to go to the bathroom together. That's what they think. That's probably. what they think anyway. So I'm just, I'm just saying, I think it, things might be going a, a little bit of a weird direction in the minds of the children in the classroom. How is this not licensed music, by the way? Now I'm worried. Principal Evans already hates me for being late this morning. Bro, I told you to be on time. It's fine. We'll be back before we know it. Good, because I had my college application review with the school counselor. Oh, you finished your essay? I haven't started. Oh, well, let's get to the city and take care of Marco quick then. So I wanted you to mention, because when we first recorded this, you actually mentioned some interesting lore. Hey guys, you might want to get downtown fast. Swing it through Brooklyn. Jameson have you on the ground for the bugle? Still can't believe old Triple J is your new boss. <laughs> really loving the new regime. Old Bubble Butt J. I'm in shape in no time. That's what I call you. So, what's up with Marco? It's been years since our last showdown. According to witnesses, he was running down Broadway yelling nonsense. They say he seemed angry and, and paranoid, delusional. He just exploded. Man, hopefully we can calm him down. I've seen people lose control like this. Be careful. Good thing there are two Spider-Men now. Good luck. Thanks, MJ. Might need the new tech we've been cooking up too. No way. I feel bad They're for those guys. Barely prototypes. Mm -hmm. But you brought him, right? No comment. His story's very sad. Because it just seems like he wants to be a normal dude and he thinks nobody cares about him. So now he's like throwing a fit like a toddler. Yeah, kinda. So you talked about how in some comic storylines, instead of being an alien, the symbiote was created by scientists as a healing agent. And I wanted you to talk a little bit about that. Well, okay. So I will say first off, I will be quiet during important dialogue. Marco! I really like hearing some of the comic book lore because I didn't grow up reading comic books like you did. MJ wasn't kidding. We gotta help him before he hurts someone or himself. Maybe he's hungry. Should toss the big guy a snack. Open wide. I find a lot of this stuff very interesting, especially from the older comics that I never got to read. Yeah, so in Ultimate Comics, it was basically Peter's father, I believe. I think Kirk Connors as well. And um, Eddie Brock's dad. They were all working on the symbiote as a healing agent to cure cancer and stuff like that. That's really interesting. 
And now in this kind of seems like it's a healing agent for Harry, which I'm really interested about because I feel like that's a very refreshing take on it. Yeah, I'm wondering how they're going to do it. I don't know if it's still an alien because it still could be an alien life form. Uh -huh. That well, they maybe they found and did experiments on. Yes. We don't know. I'm really excited to see the way it goes. the only one. Sandman just puked out some new friends. What the? He can do that? Apparently. Need you now. Who barfed on his suit? Uh, I don't know. Maybe Sandman? Ew. I do feel like I'm better now at the combat because I got a hold of the timing a little bit. The timing is different in this game than in the previous two. Uh-oh. Principal Evans. Of course. Principal All students have evacuated their classroom. Where are you? Uh, Mr. Parker, I just uh, forgot uh, something in my car. What was that? Nothing. I'm just. Uh, Attack and defend to recharge abilities like Spider Barrage. Principal Evans sucks, by the way. Principal Evans does suck. This is why when Peter Parker's identity was public in the comics for a while, at least he could hold a job because people knew he was Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. But also everybody was trying to murder his family. Yeah, that's not good. Hey, at least in this, he doesn't really have any family anymore. I mean, wow. Uh, I'm what? I'm just saying. Right now. Who are they going to kill? MJ? That would be an improvement. <laughs> she's not that bad so in this. Good. No, she's not that bad in this, but she was pretty bad in the first game. However, so far, what we've played in this game, I actually have enjoyed MJ's contribution, and I'm shocked by it. Uh, Miles? Principal Evans called. Oh, man. Am I getting expelled? Hey, you're just cutting class. I abandoned students during a citywide emergency. Yeah, you're screwed. So my canon explanation as to why she was a bitch in the first game is she was having hormonal problems. MJ? Yeah. I think it's weird her character's a lot different in this. We talked about that and... She had a complete personality change. Yeah. I always hated that name. I know you're angry at me! This has nothing to do with you. Leave me alone! I want to help you. But it's gonna hurt first. Oh jeez. In Marvel Zombies, this is how Spider-Man died. Oh yeah, you mentioned that. It wouldn't it hurt so bad to like drown in sand because it's all dusty and it's really fucked up. It like exploded him from the inside. That would be awful. It was really horrible. I really don't care for Marvel Zombies. It sounds because, gross. Well, it's just like overly edgy. And gory. Yeah. It's it's like trying to be edgy. I don't like stuff that tries to be edgy, really. That makes sense. I'm just a little bit sick of zombies in general and certain things because they're kind of overused. Yeah. I just think it's too bad because it's such a cool concept. I do really want to go back and watch the original Walking Dead, though. I do, Because I've only watched a little bit of it. I really like this part, by the way, the fact that they're, like, blowing him up with electricity. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm a lot better this time, don't you? Yeah, you're doing great. I thought you were doing a good job. It's almost as if you are uh, a pro. Or almost as if I've played it before. Almost and, as if you played it before. And I know what I'm doing this what? time. It's kind of funny how bad I was the first time, though. That's okay. Maybe God said we needed to re-record that because you were shit. Oh. oh my goodness. That would hurt so bad. I know. I like the slingshot thing that he does here, though. This is really cool, isn't it? 
Yeah, I, uh, that was mainly popularized. I mean, people know about it from the first Raimi movie. Mm -hmm. So I like when it shows up in the games. Oh, you there. You can't get rid of me that easy. Time for Genki to work his magic. Genki, you there? Dude, this is nuts. I know, man. But listen, we need a big water source by Wall Street. Well, let me check the grid. Stay safe, dude. You too, Mr. Parker. Will do. Wait, what? Yankee knows all. Plus, we were super weird in class earlier. Knew I never should have taught at a gifted school. I thought that part was so funny when he said that. I knew I never should have taught at a gifted school. <laughs> it makes me wonder how many other people know that Mr. Parker is Spider-Man. I don't think many people put it together. That makes sense. Yankee's just really smart. I love that you can switch between them in this game, by the way. Mm -hmm. I like that Miles isn't just a guest character, he's actually a main character. Which he should be. I mean, that he's on the cover, and his game, in some ways, is better than the original. I mean, uh -huh. in, in other ways, the original's better, but... The tank on the Matheson building should do the trick. We're talking 10,000 gallons here. Got it. Thanks, Genki. I'd like to look up the origins of the name Genki. Why? Because it rhymes with stanky. Okay. And I feel like it... I don't know, it's just kind of a weird name though, isn't it? Because Genki is like Asian. And I'm kind of wondering, is that like a traditional Asian name that I've just never heard before? What, do you think Asian names are weird? Diversity hater 32? No, I'm just kind of wondering like where the name, name Genki originated from or if they just made it up. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I do know Ned in the MCU is partially based on Genki. I, I did know that. That's why I like Ned. I think he's fun. I also really like that Genki is our man in the chair now. Normal, like everyone else. This isn't the way, Marco. For a guy like me, there is no other way. What is his goal here? Like, is he we just trying to yet. take out the whole city? We don't know yet. I still don't know even after playing this. Well, yeah, but we're going to find out more because there's collectibles oh, that get into it, which yeah. we'll look at after this. Oh, yeah. That's true. Just keep going up. I'll meet you at the roof. The water tanks are only shot. Well, I still know how to do that. So, so far, who do you like fighting as more? Uh, Miles. You like fighting as Miles more? Why? So far. Why? Because he's got bioelectricity, which I think is awesome. I agree. He's he's more fun to play as, in my opinion. I like the little mechanical arm things that they did for Peter, but I think it's much more satisfying to punch people with electricity. Also, every character in Miles' life and around him is super likable. Um, whereas, Especially his mommy. Whereas a lot of people are kind of toxic in Peter's life. Just sadly. Like, so for example, I like Felicia, but she's super toxic in the first game. MJ is constantly picking fights with him. I'm gonna wait a second. I wanted to tell you, oh, oh, I have to go. MJ is constantly picking fights with him in the first game, which frustrated me. So here's an example of that really quick before we keep going, because they're gonna keep talking. In the first game, you're interacting with MJ. She le like she knows that Martin Lee is going to attack, I believe, Central Station or whatever. She doesn't tell Peter, she doesn't tell anybody, she just goes and could have gotten everyone murdered. Yep. Then only calls Peter in after the fact when they know Devil Devil's Breath is there. Yeah, when which she finds out she can't stupid, do it herself. Stupid as hell. And even though she, you know, shit on him over and over about like, I'm not made of glass, I can do this, that, and this. And it's like, look, there's nothing wrong with MJ. So for example, she is Spinnerette in the Renew Your Vows continuity, mm -hmm. and Spinneret is awesome. It is just MJ with Spider-Man powers. Uh -huh. Super great. Uh -huh. MJ the supermodel. Yeah, she's not the, you know, smartest person ever or uh -huh. anything like, but she's really useful. She helps Peter a lot. She provides him a lot of emotional support. She does get in fights sometimes, and she's useful. She's, she's interesting. She's awesome. But in the last game, she was just kind of a bitch about every single thing he did. And then he took a break one time to eat some pizza. And she was like, how dare you eat pizza when people are getting murdered? You got a break for once in the first, in, in two weeks after basically killing yourself to do all this stuff? How could you? Right. I'm going to keep going or people are going to get mad at me. But I do think it's funny. I just wanted a regular life. You can still have one! It's too late now. It just made me mad that she was so unlikable. And then, like, oh, he's afraid to tell her things because he thinks she's just gonna go off on her. And on that him, doesn't yeah. that doesn't feel like the case in this game anymore. No, 
She's much better in this. It's like she had a, a change or something. I don't know what, what happened. Finishers are devastating attacks that cost at least one full focus bar. Build the focus by attacking and dodging enemies. So, okay, that's back again. I agree with you completely. And I was not trying to interrupt you. I just want to make sure we hear the important dialogue while being able to talk still. But yeah, no, she's much better in this game. Um, we talk about her later. Everyone's obsessed with her design. Oh, it's Mommy! 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 You're on every channel. I'm heading downtown to help coordinate resources and supplies. Is Genki covering for you at school? He is. But I got this meeting with my counselor later. And the principal thinks Listen, that I'm... I can talk to your principal. But New York needs you right now. Coolest mom ever. And please, be careful. Te quiero, loco. I love I Mommy Mill. I know, I love her. I was going to say that we, I think we talked about this in the in our first playthrough. I know people are going to think we're weird. I love older women. Like, I love women that are like, I know you're younger than me technically, the, but. The hottest woman in this entire game is Rio Morales, and I think Peter should date her. Yeah, exactly. I think he needs to become a father figure to Miles. Yes. I mean, he already basically is. Or so an older not? brother figure. Yeah. And he should also fuck his mom. <laughs> I mean, what's wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing. I'm the last person to shame people for that. So do you but, think do you think MJ was just mean to Peter in the first game because she didn't want to love him and she did love him, so she yeah. thought she, being mean to him would be better? I, You're only making it worse for yourself, Marco! I don't care. If you want to justify it, I think that would be the justification. I think the real justification is the writers wanted tension and it came off annoying. Yeah, and, and they way, did a bad job of it. Too many people, by the way, are invested in defending MJ. Like, it's okay to admit that MJ is kind of toxic in the first game. Now look, here's the thing. If you're like saying like, well, Felicia isn't, then that's stupid because Felicia is too. Yeah, Felicia's pretty bad. The she only lies. difference is Felicia is toxic and really pretty, uh -huh. whereas MJ's model, MJ's face model is super, super pretty. But I feel like they did a bad job translating that to the game. I think she looked better in the first game, actually, you than do. in this game. Yeah, in this game, they kind of made her jawline a little too square compared to the model's face, and it's hard for me to look at without getting mad. <laughs> About, like, how they butchered the model? Yeah, because the model's really pretty and has a very sharp, gorgeous jawline. He's trying to eat me! Let's give him a drink instead! They made it way too square, and then they made her lips a little too small in comparison. Yeah. So then it just makes her face look off. Which, to be fair, we do get into more of that because Jill Jill gets into her Sim City building face fixing later in the Let's Play. Well, that, I, I do talk about how I would fix the face to yeah. make it look more. That's like still that. recorded. Yeah. Break out the new toys. The suit's last software patch wasn't stable, but here goes nothing. I liked to play a lot of Sims when I was younger and still do, and I used to make a lot of celebrity lookalikes. Mm -hmm. And I like to think I'm pretty good at it. Jill, say they fly now. They fly now? They fly now. Okay, that's an overused joke. No, it's not. Oh, no, it's not. I'm glad we're turning New York into a desert. I held triangle and the game got mad at me. It was like, you do not need to hold triangle to glide. Did why, you see that? Why would you need to hold triangle to glide? I don't know. You were supposed to go through that building, Bubby. You gotta calm down, Marco. Innocent people are in danger. You care about them, but not me. They wouldn't listen to Marco, but they can't ignore Sandman. Jill, I play the game my way. This is B greater, be yourself. What's the tagline in this one? I don't know. Who Be cares? greater together. I thought it was heal everyone, heal everything. Heal the world? Yeah. We're going to heal the world? Heal We're going to heal ass. together. We're going to be greater in my ass by what healing my ass together. Somebody's going to have to heal Miles' ass after this bathroom finance. I know, right? Finance? What is, why did I say that? I don't know. I meant extravaganza, but... Finance. But instead I said finance, so... I'm fine with it. That's a new word. Well, I'm getting random texts is back in session i think we're almost back to where we stopped by the I, way. I think so yeah but i am actually much happier with how i'm playing so good job what happened to the 
returns to the surface tension of sand if you turn up the voltage. Move your right. Like when I shot the mini. A plus. You absorb enough energy. I'll shoot it right at him. You want me to get hit by lightning? Can you handle it? Only one way to find out. So something I want to praise this game for, the fighting with Miles, so far, more smooth than... you said! Gotta break out the toys! It's more smooth than in Arkham Knight when you would team up with people, because it could ruin your combos in that game if you tried to punch the same person someone else punched. Uh-huh. And in this, both you and Miles can be going for the same person, and it doesn't ruin anything. I like that. That's pretty cool. They did a good job with that. Yeah, I actually really like it, and I love this. I like the spider barrage a lot. It's really cool, but I, I like the bioelectricity more. Uh, no, I, I do too. Yeah. I mean, Miles is just really unique. He is. I love him. I also really like the underdog, like whenever, um, you know, whenever we're looking at... See, you were supposed to do that before. I did before. do it. I did do it. I know, but you were supposed to do that before with the other building. Oh, 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 I got hit. It's stupid. Sorry. Well, Jill, Jill keeps talking. Oh, okay. What, what do you mean what Jill happened? keeps talking? We're doing a let's play. What happened what happened? Why did I, I get stuck? Know. I don't know what happened. I was going to say that I like the underdog a lot of times, and I've noticed there's a lot of douchey opinions around Miles. Like, he can't be Spider-Man. There's only one Spider-Man. It's like, but I'm okay with Ben Riley and Miguel O'Hara, and I'm okay with all... And it's like, okay, well, like, at a certain point, it kind of feels like people are saying, like, he's just the diversity Spider-Man. I don't like him. And that makes me mad. I really like Miles. It's kind of funny, though. <laughs> I think he's a great character. Yeah. I think he's awesome. Like He's, if, he's much more than just a tokenized look, person. Look, if, if it was Tim Drake, like, oh, let's just make him gay to do it, like, okay, fine. Yeah, I'm right there with you then. But Miles is a great character. Just because he's black doesn't mean he can't be Spider-Man, and it pisses me off that people act that way. Yeah, so, no, don't you want a Spider-Man with the N-word pass? Okay. <laughs> well... <laughs> I mean, that's two. what I've always wanted. We're gonna have two in this game because Spider Peter gets the black suit. Oh! And, and he's gonna say like, "What, Miles? It's just a word your people say it all the time." Did you know that if you're playing <laughs> as Miles, you get the pass by proxy? No. Oh, wow! Epic. Everywhere. I thought Nate was just saying it, but he he was playing Miles Morales. He, every time. he was just pretending to be Miles. He was cosplaying. Nate, Nate dropped the word, and I'm like, hey, don't say that. But then he pulls out a Steam Deck, and he's just playing the game on a Steam Deck. Okay? <laughs> I haven't been okay for a long time. If you need help, all you have to do is ask. He looks a little bit like Fat or Harry. I thought he... I, <laughs> I thought he looks like Discount Vin Diesel. <laughs> Like with hair. I, I thought it was funny. He looks like wider Harry Osborn. He does look like wider Harry Osborn. Yeah. 